Hello, good day everyone. We are going to discuss 20 MCQs on the novel Bringing Tony Home by Tisa Besekar. You can first give a try to the MCQ to test your marks. To download the printable MCQ, visit www.litspring.com and you can download it under the worksheets section or you can simply use the link given below. Okay, let's start. So the first question is, in what setting the story of the novel taken place? So your answers are Depanama, Ekudavatta, Kalambu, Depanama and Ekudavatta. So what is the answer? As you know, their old house was situated in Depanama. They moved to a new house in Ekudavatta. So the story is based between these two locations. So the answer should be Depanama. And okay, let's move to the second question. Second question is, what is the time span covered by the noun? So there are four answers. What should be the answer? So as you know, the story starts at about 1994 and 1996 and it flashbacks into 1950s. So it is roughly about 40 to 50 years. As mentioned in the novel, the answer is about 40 years. Okay, let's move to the next question. Yes, question number three is what is the main theme in the novel? The first one is relationship between children and parents, the gentle and peaceful past era of Sri Lanka and the sincere affection between the narrator and his faithful dog and finally conflict of love between human and animal as you see all these are the themes of the novel but it is majorly about the mutual and sincere affection between the dog and the narrator so the answer is the sincere affection between the narrator and faithful dog so this must be the reason or oh, this had to write this story though it is not a very big plot okay let's move to the next question question number four what is the notable feature throughout the novel so let's see writers only concerned about the dog and his relationship writers anger about parents leaving the tony behind and writers vivid description of nature and the last one, writer's nostalgic feeling about his lost relationship. What do you think? If you have read the novel, it is quickly notable his vivid description of the background. So the answer should be writer's vivid description of nature. So here the narrator or the writer focuses on every detail, creating visuals in the mind of the reader, just like a movie. No wonder he is a pioneering director of several movies and teledramas. One is Peter Ankario as mentioned in the now. Okay, let's go to the next question. Question number five. Why has Thistas family left the Parnaval? So the answers are their father has got a transfer because of financial breakdown, because of world war and finally they did not like to live in the Parnaval. So what do you think? So the answer should be yes, because of financial breakdown. As mentioned in the story, because of the world war, the economy of all the world collapsed and Sri Lanka too has to face its adverse effects. So their financial condition broke down, so making them poor and they had to move from places to places like gypsies. Okay, let's move to question number six. Why Tissa was sad and angry throughout their journey to Egodavata? So let's see what should be the answer. So as we know, he was not angry because, he, because they left their old house, no family surroundings. But he had to leave his companion who was brought to the house as a small puppy and lived a long period of time with them like a family member as story reveals a boy who had little human companions and leaving his only companion behind 
made him so sad. So the answer should be because they had left Tony behind. Because of that he felt so worried. So let's see the next question. For what reason he was sent back to Deccan? So let's see to bring Tony home, to buy weekly ration, to give to give an errand to Miss Lawrence Pereira to bring their ration books. So what do you think? As you know his journey had several requirements. The major one was to collect their ration books. And uh, meanwhile this Satu had uh, his own sacred plan to fulfill. Okay, we'll see next question. What did he carry along with Tony? So a mirror, new ration books, a gunny bag full of provisions, or above all? Yes, the answer is above all. Though he's a small boy, he carries a huge amount of things with him. This tells about his character and how much he needs to bring Tony back. Because of that he carries all those burdens with him without any complaint. Is question number 9. What has happened to him at the 11th mile post? You have read the story, now you know what has happened. So the answer is... Yes, the answer is he collapsed due to fatigue. So as you know, this as a small boy was suffering from occasional fits. Due to his this nature, he was not sent to school. When one gets fit, his muscles become stiff, like the state of paralysis. On the day of adventure, he had not taken his regular meal because of this starving and fatigue. At the 11th mile post, he gets these occasional fits. However, he acted wisely to overcome severe conditions by laying on the ground and having a rest. Okay, we'll see the next question. What is the importance of the ration book? So it, act, it acts as the legal evidence of citizenship to get monthly subsidies. One should provide the ration book. And it is the bread and wine for the poor during the financial implosion or above all. So what do you think the answer is? Yes, the, the answer is above all. As you see in the story, the ration books were provided by the government at that time to distribute a monthly ration of food through cooperative stores that served as an identity card for people as there were no identity card system in that time, I suppose. Losing a ration book means a very serious issue as taking another ration book was a very hard, time-consuming process. And this uh, lost them, or he think, or he thought he lost them, he nearly gets a heart attack with fear. Okay, let's go to the next question. How long has this been ill after this adventurous journey? So a week, five days, three days, or a month? He actually could not remember how he returned home. As a small boy, the adventurous journey was a hard and tiresome one. He was ill and bedridden for three days. So let's see the next question. What made Tony leave the house at Egodavate? There are several reasons, I think. It was chase from his companion's company. He was tied up outside the house during a rainy day and Mr. Mendes and father beat him as it howled in pain and finally above all. So as you have read the story you know there are several reasons above all are the reasons too. So as you know while this was ill and twisting on the bed Tony had to face numerous tortures which made him to leave the house at Egodavat. Because he was sent out of this room and tied up in veranda, which was an unfamiliar treatment to him. 
and he started mourning and howling throughout the night, creating a huge commotion in the household. So Mr. Bendis gave him a cake and untied him. Tony tried to enter through the back door, which led father to beat him and mother to tie him again, exposing him to the heavy rain. So to worsen the bad effect, Tony had defecated in the veranda. Tony's torment continued and the days and the dogs in the surrounding joined the song of Tony. You can see the displacement occurred in the background. So he makes a huge displacement in the household. However, Tony seems not to endure in the continuous ill treatment received to him and leaves the household before this gets well. Okay, let's move to question number 13. How does this see the story of Casabianca? We'll see. The story of Casabianca is a moral story. During a voyage, a father had instructed Casabianca, who was a small boy, to stay in one place till his father arrives. There had been a fire on the ship and father could not make his way back. The fire surrounded poor Casabianca. But he did not run away and stood the ground as father instructed. So finally he was killed by the fire. So this as a rational boy is doubtful about some acts and advices of parents. And he believes Casabianca acted foolishly by blindly following his father's advice. So the answer is, as he think, a boy who did a stupid thing by sticking on a burning deck. Okay, now you know the story. Let's move to the question number 14. Why did the boy actually want to bring Tony back home? So he said he wanted to do a naughty thing to annoy his parents. He was so fond of Tony, so he could not forget it. Oh, he felt bad about leaving Tony who was like a family member. Oh, finally, done about what? So what do you think? Tony was his only friend and as he says, he felt bad to leave him behind. After all, he had been living with them for a long period of time. He felt that they acted selfishly and ungratefully. And he never wanted to do a naughty work to teach his parents a lesson. Okay, we'll see question number 15. What was father's final judgment about Tony's running away? So what do you think? As we see, father's behavior is a criticism about the elders. He does not accept their fault to make Tony leaving behind and running away. He rationalizes what he had done and accuses Tony for being ungrateful to this. So as we know, ironically, the opposite thing has happened. So what is the answer? So as father thinks, father's judgment was Tony was a wretch, ungrateful dog to forget its master. So let's move to question number 16. How was Tony when this meet it after a long time? So the answers are as we see in the story, after some time when this returns to Dipanama, he meets Tony as a stray dog, completely changed. But his face and loyalty and affection remains the same. Tony does not smell well anymore. Its body was covered with wounds and sores. Bones are visible showing that is underfed. So the answer is it was sick dog covered with sores and underfed. So this picture of new Tony is deep rooted as a scar in the mind of this and keeps on haunting ever since. This further shows what happens to the pets when you leave them behind. They become homeless and suffer and nobody to love and care for them. Okay, let's move to the next question. 
why did this leave Tony for the second time? So, what do you think? He knew that he cannot take care of Tony anymore. He feared Tony might follow him. He feel guilty and worried about what they have done to Tony or Bhagwan. So, in the space of the novel, one may be critical about the narrator leaving Tony after seeing its poor healthy condition. But we should understand that the boy was too helpless like Tony. He cannot independently give shelter to Tony as he is still a young boy. So he understands this and he does not want Tony to give a miserable life again. So what do you think the answer should be? Yes, above all, he know he cannot take care of Tony alone and he feared Tony might follow him because of that he ran away. So we we'll see next question is what the third part of the novel is about. Is it about the life of Tissa who is trying to adapt a new life at Ekudavata? Tissa's life haunted by the nostalgic feeling about Tony or his life as a schoolboy who constantly does mischievous acts or his life as a filmmaker and the making of Peter Gamkari. So what do you think the answer is? I think it is this is life haunted by the nostalgic feeling about Tony. Third part is about this as a growing personality. His awareness of changing environment around him is developing. However, he finds it hard to forget his past with Tony. His whole life is haunted by the feeling of guilt and his lost relationship with Tony. So, we move to question number 19. What is symbolized by the little train? What do you think? It's the title of the third part symbolizes his mental state which moves back and forth like the movement of a rain. He constantly goes back to the past reminiscing his life and his journey with Tony. So the answer is Sorry, the answer is his life which moves back and forth through the stream of memory. Okay, we move to the final question. Jay said, one of his old friends could not identify him because he has been away from the village for a long period of time and Jay said, who was an innocent villager was afraid of him and he has become a Petagam Karyo himself in the story. Oh, finally, above all, what do you think? Yes, I think the answer is above all. As a mature filmmaker, this goes back to his village and finds that he has become a Petagam Karyo or oh, an outsider himself. He and the village has changed a lot. He finds himself alienated and he has to be connected to his past again. His friend Jayasen could not identify him maybe as an innocent villager he might have bribed me to communicate with a rich stranger. However, with his own past memories, this feels that he had become an outsider. So, we know this is the reality of life. However, how much you wanted to go back to your past life, you cannot. As you have a present life and you have to move forward in it. Life is like a stream, it moves forward, it doesn't go back. So that's it. Hope you get a revision about major thematic concerns in the novel through this little discussion. Share the video first if you find it useful. Subscribe to our channel which would be a great pleasure you to be a partner of us. So thank you. Let's meet with another post like this.